extraordinary thing to witness the power of these hurricanes and the fact that this one is really the size and scope of nothing they've ever seen before uh, in this part of the Florida Panhandle as it whips by. Again, that's the entrance to the hotel that we're staying in. And when we were outside, we were, we were protected somewhat by giant cement walls and, and U-Haul trucks and vans that are parked outside to barricade the area, and yet you're still seeing that through the front door of the hotel. You're hearing the alarms go off inside the hotel. The power went out uh, some time ago. We actually saw the transformer explosion just down the street, George. But this is just really obviously uh, an awesome sight to see, but it, it is... The, it is it illustrates the real danger that authorities here have been talking about for the last 24 hours and telling people to get out, to try to seek shelter, to come to one of these hotels, or to go further inland. Um, this is what all these families who are standing behind the camera are watching along with us here this afternoon unfold here. Uh, the only blessing, if there is one, with a, with, a, with a hurricane this large is that, as you have been pointing out with Sam, uh, that it is moving fairly quickly, moving much more quickly than what we saw uh, in Florence and certainly uh, in Harvey where those came ashore and then they just sat there and they dumped water. And look at the, the scope of the water that you see over my shoulder here. And yet this hurricane is moving more quickly than those previous hurricanes that we've reported on.